Hi everybody, I'm back, Andrew Ainsworth here again. Another product review coming at you today and what I've got is a club I've been waiting for for a little while actually to review. This is the new Ping Glide Wedge. Uh, I've got this in the 56 degree SS standard sole. We'll tell you a little bit more about these soles in a minute. Ping makes some brilliant wedges, they really really do. I'm a big fan of Ping wedges. Uh, I think they're some of the best out there. And I know that there's this big thing about using forge wedges, and I totally get that. If you want to use a forge wedge, go ahead and do it. I'm of the camp, I can't tell the difference between a forge wedge and a non forge wedge. Uh, this is a stainless steel, 431 stainless steel head. Feels great to me. Uh, put me down a Mizuno wedge, which I also like. I couldn't tell the difference. Some people out there will tell me they can, and if you can, you can. So I'm not in the camp of having to use forge wedges. Uh, I'm happy to use a cast wedge. So, the Glide has been completely redesigned. I think they've spent a lot of time and effort getting this one. It comes in three soles. Okay, I don't know if you can get in and have a little look at this. But what we've got is we've got the thin sole, the standard sole, and the wide sole. And it comes in lots of different loft options. You get the most options in the standard sole, because that's the sole that most people are going to use. And in standard sole, we go from 47 right through to 60. So we go 47 degrees, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60. So we should be able to get a wedge out of that lot to fit. The wide soles, there's four options. And in the thin sole, there's only two loft options, 58 and 60. So let's tell you a little bit about which sole would suit you. So the thin soles, it's all about attack angles, really. If you've got a very shallow angle of attack with your wedges then really you want the thinner sole version or you're playing on a course which has firm bunkers firm turf in over here in the UK if you were playing link, a lot of links golf firm turf uh, you'd probably want the, the thin sole now the standard sole is going to cater to most people who have a moderate attack angle uh, moderate depth of uh, divots varying bunkers and turf conditions so ticking most of the boxes and the wide soles for somebody who's maybe getting a very steep angle of attack, deep divots, playing out of soft bunkers, soft turf. Uh, so you fit by sole. Now the other interesting innovation on this is what's called the dialer wedge grip. I'll read you the blurb. The dialer wedge grip is three quarters of an inch longer, encourages gripping down for trajectory control and adding versatility on finesse shots. Grip down markings at one and three quarter in intervals, intervals even, easy for me not to say, guide hand placement and a softer tapering profile improves feel. So very clever this, you've got three positions on the grip, okay, one, two, three, where you can put your hands to vary the length of the club, which will make it easier to play certain shots and get distance control. Can't believe someone's not thought of this before, it's such, you know, we talk about going down the shaft to play shorter wedge shots, but having little marks on there, brilliant. Uh, we've got CFS wedge, CFS wedge shaft, optimised in weight flex and balance, 118 grams, uh, proprietary shaft, promotes lower launch with enhanced control feel and stability. There you go. All we've got to do now is hit it. So, I have got ourselves set up here at the Belfry, Brabazon course, about 100 yards away from the flag, greens are set to soft and I've got the 56 degree wedge in the hand and probably one ball down on the ground and I'll tell you what folks, these wedges spin so I'm going to hit one and show you what I mean that's not a bad strike watch this thing <laughs> so that's fantastic that wasn't the perfect strike but it wasn't a bad strike I'll just give you the spin numbers on that the spin on that, show it, bring it up on the screen was 9,733, 9,875 total spin from 55 miles an hour club speed. Wow, that's a lot of spin. <laughs> Let's hit one more. I mean, they just look great behind the ball. Love it. Feel good. These are going in the bag. A bit chunky that. Get down, that wasn't a good hit. Still spinning, blimey or early. Pitched exactly at 100 yards and it spun back, bit of a downslope there, spun back to about 98. What's the spin rate on that? 
9,211, so lots of spin. And then, you know, sorry, this is going to pitch in the lake, by the way. Let's say I wanted to try and take a bit off this, then I would go from ripping it at full length, going to get right down the bottom here, okay, and just hit one. Well, I think you're in the lake, sorry, it's carried it by my arms. Now that one's pitched at 80, 83 yards. Again, you know, I can just go down the grip, play a slightly softer shot. And that one's going to be pitching at around about 60, felt like a 60, 64 yards carry. So I can get up and down the grip here, folks, you know, playing a whole variety of shots. I could go at the midpoint here, open the club face up a little bit, slide one underneath there. It's going in the lake, obviously that's a 40 yard carry. So, you know, with this 56 degree wedge, I've got an awful lot of versatility, lots of different shots open to me. Um, it's really impressive. Ping CFS Glide Wedges. A CFS, that's the shaft. Ping Glide Wedges Gorge. We see gorge down here. These are the grooves, the gorge grooves. Just tell you about those before we finish. Uh, loft optimized gorge grooves. Okay, so the sidewall angles vary by loft in the precision milled gorge grooves to ensure higher spin for consistent predictable results. Wow. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of technology in these wedges, isn't there? Brilliant. Oh, one more other thing. It's got a moisture repelling finish. Chrome plated 431 SS stainless steel head repels moisture to create more friction for improved spin and consistency in wet conditions and lies in rough. So I guess that might minimise the chance of getting a fly up, you know, when the ball gets trapped, a bit of grass gets trapped between the ball and the, uh, and the grooves, slightly wet grass. Love it. I'm going to continue in playing with this little baby because um, I've had a lot of fun with it. Thanks for watching. If any of you out there have tried it, hit it, have got these, love to hear what you think, but it's a nice club. See you soon.